Unbelievable Discoveries in Peru. But first, thank you Gaster Blaster Richards for leaving us this comment on our 12 most fascinating man-made islands video. Number 10, Peruvian Andes Treasure. Several unbelievable tombs were excavated in Peru in 2011, and many are calling it the most significant find in Peru since Machu Picchu. The discovery took place in the southern Cusco region, and it suggests that a civilization called the Wari flourished between 700 and 1200 AD. This means they could have possibly flourished in this region before the Inca Empire was able to take control. This discovery could change quite a bit of what we previously thought about the Incas. Some theorize that the Incas were inspired by this culture in aspects of architecture and the political system. This silver breastplate once belonged to a nobleman from the Wari culture. But there's more. They also found this mask, pieces of gold, a stone axe, ceremonial beads, and feathers. This Wari ceramic face was found at an earlier date, but shows their style of artwork. Number 9. Pre-Incan Mummy a mummified pre-Incan baby was found on a hillside on the outskirts of Lima, Peru in 2015. The discovery was made by archaeologists hired by the Peruvian government to search the area before a road was built here. In recent years, thousands of Inca mummies have been popping up. Many other adults were found as well in this area, many of which are well preserved like you see in this photo. The mummies were wrapped up to preserve their bodies, slightly different from the Egyptians. Here in this photo, we see a pre-Inca silver ceremonial mask. Cotton and wool bags like this were also uncovered at this remarkable tomb site. Number 8. Mystery of Say White East of the city of Abenque, it's located about 3 hours from the city of Cusco. This mysterious archaeological site has been under much debate. It was regarded as a center of religious worship focusing on water that was taken care of by a priest who jumped to her death from a 1,200-foot gorge in order to escape capture from the Spanish. The stones are made of andesite, and the Incas didn't possess proper tools to carve such unbelievable designs. So who did it? Number 7. Huaca Halamarca This beautifully preserved pyramid located near Lima stands out as a remarkable structure from the Incas and has been home to many unbelievable discoveries. It dates back to the 6th century AD and was originally used by the Huallas. Its original purpose was to serve as a place of worship for the tribes in Syria and was made from adobe bricks. At one point, everything was painted yellow, and the unique design allowed access to different levels of the pyramid. As time passed, the pyramid became a cemetery, and mummies like this were discovered. Other ceramic vessels like this were uncovered that were used for storage and cooking. To this day, it remains an important archaeological site in the country of Peru. Number 6. New Nazca Lines The Nazca Lines were spotted in 1939 when someone flew over them in an airplane. Otherwise, they would have never been discovered. Considering how delicate these lines are, is it possible a sandstorm might have covered up Nazca lines that we didn't know about before? Japanese researchers claim to have recently found way more than we expected, including these ones we see in the photo. New lines were also revealed, and researchers believe they spotted shapes of a llama or a camel and an unidentified bird that we see in this photo. The mystery of who created these lines and why they were created has sparked much debate among historians, but they are believed to date back to about 400 to 200 BC. These huge carvings are designated as a World Heritage Site in order to preserve them. Some claim they were used as a part of a religious pilgrimage, but can only really be seen from the sky. What do you believe they were used for? Number 5. Vilcabamba, Peru The site of Vilcabamba was founded by the Incas in 1539 and was the last refuge for the Incas until it eventually fell to the invading Spanish conquistadors in 1572. It's quite the journey to get to, so it isn't exactly on our list of tourist attractions. The Spanish must have had a hard time trying to find it. Anyone with royal blood, men and women, made the royal journey to live in peace here. In modern times, the city was eventually rediscovered again in 1892. More explorations here were made in the 1960s, publishing books on the lost and last city of the Incas. These stone cut marks are made with the same extreme precision as the ones in Machu Picchu, and were made from bronze chisels. Number 4. Wari Tomb Archaeologists came across an unbelievable discovery in Peru when they found the tomb that had been undisturbed for centuries. Within lies the remains of two bodies from the Wari people. One was an adult and the other was a child. Could it be they were victims of human sacrifices like other civilizations in the Americas? Archaeologists believe yes and that the child was killed and placed next to an adult. The tomb is over 1,000 years old and the bodies were wrapped in ceremonial fabric. Ten other artifacts were found and they believe that the adult was most likely a master weaver. 
They believe the child was killed and was buried as an offering to the adult, and not to the gods. Number 3. Temple of the Dead Archaeologists came across an unlooted Wari necropolis in Peru that you see in this photo, full of silver and gold artifacts. The modern day Tomb Raiders found rare pieces of history dating back from 700 to 1000 AD, containing the remains of three Wari queens and the remains of 60 other people. Some of these were actually human sacrifices, and some were well preserved. This skeleton here with the cracked skull was believed to be what's left of a human sacrifice. Archaeologists are scrambling to piece together the bones like you see here. The Wari tomb is the first of its kind that's been uncovered, and it really makes us wonder what else this pre-Incan civilization was capable of. You have to wonder why you don't hear more about these people in history books. Here in this photo, you see some of the gold ear ornaments that were possibly worn by an ancient queen. This here is a ceramic flask of a warlord, with his eye open, displaying his whole body. This goes to show that women held much power in this tribe than previously thought. Number 2. Peruvian Vampires Researchers came across a grisly ancient discovery and learned more about sacrificial methods of natives in this culture. Six bodies of women were sacrificed in a ritualistic tradition in a secret chamber of this temple. The ceremonies involved creepy costumes, beheadings, and drinking of blood. Religious cities of this culture contain huge temples that were constructed with secret sacrificial chambers. Some of the artifacts collected here included ceramic figures that you see in these photos. Other skeletons like this one were found shielding its eyes, possibly from the horrific ceremony taking place. And number 1. The Nazca Holes You may have heard of the Nazca Lines, but have you heard about the mysterious Nazca Holes? Strange spiral holes were built in the Peruvian Nazca Desert and were known as Puquillos. They're still baffling archaeologists to this day. The holes were constructed to spiral downwards in a funnel shape as you can see from this photo. This could have been constructed to play a key role in finding water deep below the surface of the earth. Others believe it was constructed for storage. The region was clearly inhabited by an important civilization, but not too much is known about them. The Nazca holes most likely have the capability of changing the entire landscape into something more fertile, perfect for agriculture. This sophisticated design must have been an important technology for one of the most mysterious civilizations that inhabited Peru.